Hello and welcome to Pops and Soul, where you can learn all that is known about K-pop and I'm your K-pop messenger, Eddie. Yes, yeah, there is someone who's causing a strong impression with a signature sound just like JYP and it's Babylon. Yes, I'm talking about Babylon, an R&B vocalist who gained fame through Zico's Boys and Girls. Babylon is out with a brand new single record titled Fantasy and the lead track Crush On You is a hip hop song with an emotional sound. It is highly addictive with Babylon's signature voice style. He is known for his ability to switch between his chest voice and falsetto, and he's wowing everyone with his wide vocal range. His latest single features Lil Boy, one of the hottest rappers on the Korean hip hop scene these days. Don't judge the song based on the title because it has a sweet message directed at a single girl telling her how special she is. Well, why don't we check out the music video ourselves? Here's Babylon's Crush on You. Music video, start. It's time for a segment that will present you with new and fun information about idol stars. This is a friendly guide to becoming a fan girl or a fan boy of idol stars. It's time for S Pops, and we have revamped S Pops to present something new and fresh to you guys. Yes, from now on we are going to zoom in on the cable stars that you are curious about. So, who will we focus on the first edition of revamped S Pops? S Pop is a friendly guide to becoming a fan girl or a fan boy of idol stars. And today is one of the most beloved idol stars. It's Siumin of EXO. Tell us the 411 on him first. He was born on March 26, 1990, which means he turned 26 this year. Oh, we're the same age. He has a little sister who's two years younger than him. He was asked if he'd want to introduce his sister to his bandmates, and he named Sehun in first place, Suo in second place, Chanyeol in third place, and no one in fourth place. You know, I actually feel exactly the same. He added that he'd tell his sister never ever date anyone. It'd be nice to have an overprotective but loving brother like Siumi. Yes, I'm sure a lot of girls feel that way. You know, now I'm curious, what's Siumi's ideal type? Oh, Pema Yangdon asked the same question on our Facebook page. And I did a little bit of research and I saw that he doesn't have a specific ideal type. Hmm. He just wants a nice girl whom he wants to hug and protect. So he didn't name anyone in particular, huh? I mean, that's how all idol stars should respond when they're asked about their ideal types. Um, I'm nice and huggable. Right. Do you think I fit his ideal type? <clears throat> See, this is exactly why Shumi just gave a vague description so that every girl thinks she fits his ideal type. Ah, uh, so you're basically telling me I should forget about it, huh? All right, all right. Well, aside from his bandmate, Siumin is close to Dongwoo of Infinite, who attended the same high school with him. Siumin spent his high school days with Dongwoo, but when you go back further, you'll realize that he underwent a major transformation. Yes, when he was in grade 5, he weighed 75 kilograms. You can imagine what he was like based on what he wrote in elementary school. Yeah, he wrote, I'm Kim min Seok and I am fat, but I'm cute and I'm just like soda. Oh. His friends describe them as a flexible piggy, flower piggy, kung kung da piggy, oh, oh. poor piggy, I and mean, poor Shumin. But then, you know, he shut off the pals after entering high school, so that's why when he was asked about a special talent, he didn't say singing or dancing, but instead he said, dieting. Guys, if you're curious about his dieting tips, then go search for it online. Yes, I'm sure you'll find it very helpful and you might find it surprising, but Shumi's favorite type of music is rock ballad. Maybe that's why, but he's great at shouting and hitting the super high notes like a rock star. Can you do that too, Eddie? Singing like a dolphin. Uh, ah! uh, just, oh. uh, 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 you know, I can't. So just let's take a listen to a song where you can hear Shumi sing and add the like he has never done before on any of EXO's tracks. It's AOA Jimin's Call You Bad that featured Siumin. Music video, start. And welcome back <laughs> on the revamp as Pops. We're talking about EXO Shumin. We'll be talking about his irresistible charms that will make you want to become a die-hard fan of his. Yes, one of the reasons his fans love him so much is that he's a good fairy. 
So, what exactly is a good fairy? Well, Siumin gained this nickname because he wears a lot of goods with EXO and his name on it. Yes, he wears a lot of items with their name on it like a cell phone case, a bag, hat, keyring and so on. Wear your own goods wherever you go. These items are actually made for the fans to buy and use. And when they see their favorite celebrities wearing and using the same items they do, they feel a sense of connection with them. So, but what's another reason people love Xiaomi so much? It's because he is absolutely adorable. Siumin has a peculiar habit that makes him look even more adorable, and it's the hand synchronization. Hand synchronization? Uh, what is that? Uh, why don't we see for ourselves? Isn't he just super cute? I wondered what made him this cute. And I realized that he was born this way. Hey, let's take a look at a video that proves he was born adorable. <gasps> oh, <so cute. laughs> you know, I've never seen a guy who's that cute and well, he's still cute as ever. He's just cute. Yes, but although he looks and seems super cute, he's actually a man's man. Shuman, who's known for his baby face, is considered one of the most youthful looking idol stars on the K-pop scene. But he's actually very tough. He has learned Taekwondo and Kendo since he was young and one of his favorite sports is soccer. I think he's able to put on powerful dance moves on stage thanks to the strengths he gained through sports. His bandmates say that he's like a ninja turtle based on the way he moves. Wow, his arms may look very lean but you'll be surprised by the huge biceps he has. Oh, and he's also amazing at arm wrestling. I, he wins against Chen using only two fingers. <gasps> oh. That must be so embarrassing. Siumin is one of the strongest members of EXO in terms of physical strength and alcohol tolerance. Ah uh, yes, he can keep on drinking even when the others have passed out. He's a true man's man. Plus, he's such a hard throw. There's a video of Shumin that was rated 19 plus on YouTube because it's so sexy. Let's take a look. <laughs> Wow, look at him writing his name with this book! I have a favor to ask. Uh, what is it? Can you send me this video so that I can keep it on my heart? Right? Now, I hope you liked the very first edition and episode of Revamp as Pops, where we focus on Shumin. If there's an idol star that lets get no better, then what should they do, Monica? All you have to do is send us a message on our Facebook, homepage or Twitter. Yes, also visit us on our Facebook page and tell us how much you love Shumin by rating him out of 5 stars. And now, it's time for us to let you go, Monica. Yes, but don't worry, I'll be back next week. Yes, bye-bye! Bye-bye! Ah! Ah! Oh, dolphin! Ah! 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 It's time for a K-pop Top 10, where we check out the hottest songs from last week. Numerous hop idol groups have returned to the K-pop scene in time for the summer season, including Sister, aka the Summer Queens, Top Global Group XO, Beast, who transformed into a five-member group, and Taeyeon of Girls' Generation, who returned as a solo artist. And of course, one of the girls who are promoting the self-written song for the first time. And plus, hip-hop songs are also dominating the charts with the growing popularity of Show Me The Money. There is a heated competition between idol stars and hip-hop artists from Show Me The Money. And we're going to check out the results on today's K-pop Top 10, Kampao Gone, the official music chart of Korea. That brings us to the end of the show today, but let's not be too disappointed because we'll soon meet each other again. And I'll be premiering another awesome show filled with addictive K-pop songs and the latest K-pop news. So, 
make sure you join me again. And we are always looking forward to hearing from you guys. So if there's a music video you want to watch on our show, then leave us a song for us on our homepage, Facebook, or Twitter. Now, I'm going to wrap up today's show with a song from K-Pop Top 10. And I hope you have an awesome day today. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye.